Apple stock has been on an absolute tear recently. After being down over 6% last week, at one point being down over 11% on the week, it is still currently up 123% and things are probably just going to get even weirder from here. Today we are going to be going over exactly what I feel about Apple stock, whether I believe that it's going to be a buy or not, how I feel about it in the long term. We're going to talk all about the valuations. We're going to look at some of its earnings and what is exactly causing these prices to go up and down all over the course of this year. If you do enjoy this video, once again, do not forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. We hit 470 subscribers today. Mind you, I hit 400 subscribers last week. So seeing the channel growth is absolutely phenomenal. And if you are new to the channel and you do want to support me, all you got to do is go down there and hit that subscribe button and I will really appreciate it. If you do have any stocks that you want me to check out or, you know, make a little video about and just kind of give my input about how their stocks are doing, definitely let me know down in the comment section below and let's get straight into the video. So what is it? exactly going on with Apple stock. How in the world has this company that's been around for almost two decades now been going up almost 123% in a single year? Well, as you guys do know that over the last, you know, couple months, tech has just been going absolutely through the roof. There's, it seems as if there's some type of tech bubble or something like that going on right now where a lot of tech stocks are just flying through the roof. But in my honest opinion, I do not believe that this is unjustified. In comparison to some of the other stocks, Apple is doing very well, but they are not one of the stocks that is just going absolutely crazy for no reason whatsoever. Recently, we did see a major, major rise in Apple stock as they did announce the four to one stock split, which does, you know, brought a lot of hype to the stock. And as we do know that what's going on right now in the current stock market, that the more hype that a company has, typically the more, you know, their stock price is gonna rise up. Let's just look at Kodak, for example. Kodak, they kind of had a good reason for why they went up, but it was pretty irrelevant, to be honest. And just the hype alone drove their prices over up hundreds of hundreds of percents. So whenever we go do and, you know, we do look at Apple stock, we see that the reason behind a lot of these big driving momentum, you know, this huge uptrend has been a lot of hype. But is this hype unjustified? I don't believe so. If we do go ahead and take a look at some of their numbers, their numbers have actually been phenomenal. And if you do take a look at that, you break it down in the sense that, wait, we are in, one, in a once in a lifetime global pandemic. Lots and lots of businesses are failing. Lots and lots of major companies are struggling. So how is this company and along with other companies doing so, so well? Well, whenever you look in that and you see that some of these companies are doing better than others, that's going to you know, make them be perceived as more safe. So I think that in a time, this is reason number one, I feel like in a time where people are so unsure and they're so concerned about where exactly they're putting their money because they see so many businesses have bad financials, bad management, and not being ad, you know, adaptive in a time like this then a lot of companies are, you know, aren't getting the, the funding from investors like they used to. Whereas you look at a company like Apple who's outperforming the majority of its competitors and that's what looks safe. So in a time where so many people are so uncertain, a company that appears and is being perceived as safe is obviously going to be being invested in much, much more. Not only that though, Apple has been seeing major, major increases in sales for certain sectors of its business plan that have been driving a lot of its financials through the roof. During a time like these, whenever people are stuck at home, people are more than usual focused in you know, working at home or going to school from at home. I know I'm currently at the university I'm in. The majority of my classes are all online. I know a lot of my peers are all online. I know a lot of my friends and family are working from home. So in a situation like that, in which a lot of these, you know, people and just all around the world are working from home, there are certain things that are going to become of more use that, you know, will drive the economy and will drive society and become much more of a consumer staple. And this is where I believe that Apple is performing amazingly. They've kind of set themselves up perfectly for a situation like this. Currently, Apple is seeing a rise in services of over 15%. That means Apple Card, Apple Pay, Apple Music, Apple Care, all these different services that they provide are seeing a rise of 15%, which in a year in which most companies are seeing declines, that is absolutely amazing. Not only that, wearables, home, and accessories are also seeing a growth of over 17% more people are staying at home. So they need these at-home services. They need the Apple Music and all these things a little bit more. Not only that, they need, you know, their AirPods and their MacBooks and everything for their at-home experience because, you know, might be in class and you need your headset or anything like that. And Apple is doing the perfect job at pushing out these accessories, these wearables, these home and accessories and these services to continue to grow their business. As of recently, we have seen iPhones slow down a bit. 
you know, people are, you know, starting to wait a little bit longer in between each upgrade. And, you know, that could have been, maybe 10 years ago, very bad for Apple. But it does seem like what's going on right now is that Apple is currently adjusting and adapting to a society in which it's kind of slowing down on the iPhone a bit. They're starting to pick up the slack with these accessories, with these services. And I believe that that is a reason and to why their stock is continuing to climb because as one thing goes down, something else goes up two times. And whenever a company is that adaptive and that whenever one of their main business builders is starting to slow down a bit, that they can add two or three more to take its place shows a lot of long-term promise for that company. It shows that they can go through the stride of time and be okay and be able to stay afloat because they're not focusing one thing as to be their biggest driver in their business. With all of these things going on, iPhone still sales still did run. With all of these things going on though, iPhone still, dang it. With all of these things going on though, iPhone sales have increased 2% in the June quarter. Meaning that even though people really don't have as much money and if they do have money, it's more of like, you know, the, um, the package that everyone's getting. People are still buying iPhones. And now a lot of that is coming from the iPhone SE, which is a more affordable iPhone, which is becoming very, very popular in a little bit of the lower class countries or places where money is not the most you know, abundant, but there's still a lot of people. So we can talk about maybe like India, where a lot of the working class is not the most rich but there's a lot of people who have a good bit of money. And so you can start seeing you know, the iPhone SE taking a big stand of dominance in countries like those. And I believe that that's very, very key for you know, Apple because whenever they're sitting in a, in a country like ours or America per se, the United States, they can go ahead and sell these iPhones, but if they start to slow down, they have to branch out to other countries. And the way to do that is they have to adjust to the needs of those other countries. Some of these thousand, twelve hundred dollar iPhones are a little bit too much for these other countries. So what they're doing is putting out a little bit more like an iPhone SE example, which is much more affordable. And these other countries can then use it. So although the cost of that phone may be less, they're selling them in such high demand that they are still taking millions and millions of dollars in profit. So that is another reason as to why I believe that Apple is doing a van, you know, fantastic job and why I believe that their valuation could be fair. I truly do believe that the valuation that they are currently at right now could be high, but I don't feel like it's unjustified. I feel like Apple stock is doing so well and setting themselves up so well in other sectors and other areas of their business that the you know the growth that they're seeing makes sense. Apple earned two dollars and fifty eight cents a share on sales of fifty nine point seven billion in its fiscal third quarter. Expectations were only two dollars and four cents a share on fifty two point twenty five billion dollars. That is substantial in a time like this. Seeing that type of growth is just. It's just mind blowing. The fact that they are performing so well and have set themselves up just so perfectly that they are still considered a consumer staple at this point and that all of their services are in such high demand, even at a time where money is not the most, is just absolutely fantastic. Not only that though, we do when we do take a look at its last report, earnings rose over 18% and sales still rose 11%. Now let's think about that. And declining iPhone industry but an incline and you know a very big increase in its you know services and wearables home and accessories has seen them grow still over 11 percent now this is the reason why i am such 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 a big bull on apple because this is where it gets interesting we take a look at everything going on like i said a declining iphone industry and an inclining service and home and accessory industry that is still causing them to grow we can't forget about the upcoming cycle and the upcoming introduction to society of 5G. Now, let's consider this. In a time where the iPhone industry and the, you know, the home and accessories, they're doing so well and Apple is still growing. What happens when the iPhone industry has this revamp? Because people are gonna want these upgrades to 5G, especially once they start to realize how fast 5G is. I don't know if the people watching, if you guys understand it, it is very, very fast. When people start to see that, they're going to want to upgrade. They're one of you know, it's going to be a new trend. Do you have that 5G? That's going to be a trend. And people are going to want to keep up with that. So whenever people are wanting to keep up with that, we're going to see people spend less time in between upgrades, but we're going to see the revamping of the iPhone and a little bit of hype behind the iPhone. So what does that mean? 
That means that we will live in a time in which Apple's iPhone industry and iPhone sector of its business is at major growth, as well as its service home and accessory industry at major growth. And now this is why I believe that these valuations are fair. 5G, these phones are only a few months away. They are only a few months away. I do believe that in the short term, Apple may not be the best buy, or it could be that I really can't predict what exactly is going to happen with Apple over the next couple of weeks. It is all over the place. But what I can say with a full heart of confidence is that I truly believe that Apple stock is going to be just flying. I truly, truly believe that as if, you know the iPhone industry starts to boom again with the introduction of 5G and you know the service and home and accessory industry continues to flourish that we will see major, major growth in sales for Apple, which will directly impact its valuation. I feel like as all of this begins and the cycle begins where two pieces are growing, that it is going to put Apple through the roof. So with that being said, I will finally come to it and say that I do believe that Apple is a buy. I feel like even though it may be volatile and all over the place for the next couple of weeks, even all the way up to election, that at the end of this year and the beginning of next year, that we will see major, major growth from Apple. Now, what do the analysts say? With all of this going on, as well as the introduction of 5G into the society, analysts are predicting a 12.6% sales growth next year. Meaning that they're already seeing, even in the time that we're in right now, with Apple going all up and down and all over the place, they still are expecting over a 12% sales growth in Apple next year. Well, let's go ahead and if we take a look at that, meaning that in the last report, we're up 11%. And look at how high this stock has gone. So one can only assume that if time does continue and that these trends do continue, that seeing that type of growth next year will directly impact the valuation of this stock, bringing the prices through the roof. And so I truly wholeheartedly believe that Apple is a buy. If you are new to my channel, you may not know, but if you have been around a while, I am a major investor in Apple. They hold the second biggest position in my portfolio, right next to Store Capital, of course, my absolute favorite stock. But it's just a phenomenal stock all around and the future is very bright. We could go on and on and on for days about the things that they can do in the future. Because let's not forget the Apple glasses and everything like that, they're coming soon. They are going to start to introduce these things that affect us visually. They have the AirPods and the phones and everything like that. But the one sense they haven't really applied to is vision. And I truly believe that Apple is going to start to do major, major things in the Apple glasses department that are going to change society overall. I do believe that in the next 20 to 30 years, there will be at least three or four new things that Apple has introduced to society that have become another consumer staple. And so with that being said, once again, I truly, truly, truly believe that Apple is a buy.